With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so in this question it is given the three reaction which is T2H2 plus 5O2, 5 by 2O2 gives out 2CO2 plus S2 and have a delta H value of minus 300 kilocalorie. Now the second equation it is C plus O2 plus out CO2 which is having a delta H of minus 94 kilocalorie. And the third equation is S2 plus half O2 gives out S2O which has a delta H of minus 68 kilocalorie. So on the basis of the above equation we have to calculate the enthalpy of formation of C2S2 which it will be. And then so enthalpy of formation is basically the standard enthalpy of formation or standard heat of formation of a compound is the change of enthalpy during the formation of one mole of a substance from its constituent element with all the substituent in their standard state so basically we can define a standard enthalpy of formation as delta hf delta f formation is equals to sigma v times delta formation of h which is of product minus summation of v times delta f h reactant so this is our standard enthalpy of formation where v is the number of moles in a given reaction and it is sum of all the enthalpy of products and it is sum of all the enthalpy of reactant so we can define standard enthalpy of reaction as the difference between the sum of all the react sum of all the enthalpy of products minus sum of all the enthalpy of reactants so this is the standard enthalpy of formation so in short we can say that standard enthalpy of formation is a change of enthalpy during the formation of one mole of a substance from its constituent element if you will see the first equation here that is c2 s2 plus 5 by 2 of o2 which gives out as 2 times of co2 plus s2 so this has a delta h value of as you can see minus 310 kilocalorie now if we reverse this equation that is if i reverse this equation that is s2 plus 2 co2 gives out c2 s2 plus 5 by 2 of o2 now the delta h of the reaction will become the positive of that is positive of 310 kilo can now if we name this reaction as a and this reaction as b and this reaction as c so if i add the reaction c in this reaction that is our given reaction i will write it as d now if i add the reaction a in d what happen is that we have a s2 plus half o2 which is giving out s2 and this is having a delta h of if i write delta h of minus 68 kilo calo now if i add this equation what we will get is that first our s2o gets cancelled out and the half of the o2 will be get subtracted from the 5 by 2 of our o2 then it will give a 4 by 2 that is 2 times of o2 so on addition we will get the reaction as s2 plus 2 co2 giving out the d2s2 plus 2 moles of o2 now the delta h of this reaction will be given as the sum of that is the sum of the delta h value of reaction d which is the 310 kilocalorie and the sum of the reaction of e for the reaction c which is minus 68 kilocalorie so if i add this we will get the delta h value of this will be 242 kilocalorie so now we have a delta h reaction of this equation now if you look at our reaction b which is equals to c plus o2 gives out co2 so if i write our reaction c here which is c plus o2 gives out co2 so if i multiply this whole reaction by 2 we have a delta h value for the whole of this reaction 2 times of 94 so we will get delta h of this reaction that is 2c plus 2o2 gives out 
2 CO2 will be equals to it will be 188 minus 188 kilo calorie. Now if I add this reaction to our given equation which we have obtained earlier that is I that is the reaction I will given the name as E and I am giving this reaction a name of F then that is if we add E and F then what happen is that I am writing the E reaction here which is S2 plus 2 CO2 gives out C2H2 plus 2O2 and we have 2C plus 2O2 gives out 2 CO2 so if I add this equation we will get the formation reaction of C2H2 that is 2CO2, 2CO2 get cancelled out and we will only left with S2 plus 2C giving out C2S2. So this is the reaction that we need in order to calculate the heat of the formation of C2S2. So this is the formation reaction of C2S2. Now if I write the value of heat here, so this reaction has a, so this reaction has a 242 kilocalorie of heat and this reaction has a minus 188 calorie or kilocalorie of heat so by adding this that is 242 that is if i add these two values i am adding it here that is if i add these two values that is if we add these two value that is 242 so it will give a value of 54 kilo calorie which is in positive so this is the delta h of c2s2 that we have to calculate so this is the whole process by which we will calculate the delta h of c2s2 and it will be my it will be plus 54 kilo calorie so if we check our option we will see that option b is the correct one which is plus 54 kilo calorie and this is the way by which you can get the answer by solving the various reaction and performing some calculations I hope you get the answer. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.